Hey, what's up? Hello, beautiful kings, queens, and everything in between. It's your girl Aubrey, and welcome to Curve Logic. I know, look, we're going back to back with the videos, baby. I just wanted to, you know, come and talk, and I just love to talk. So when I love to talk, you're going to get a lot of videos, and that's, you know, period. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope life is giving you everything you asked for and so, so, so much more. I thought I would come on here, you know, I told you we're manifesting all 2020. That means we're traveling, doing things we want to do. But divas, especially my curvy divas, how are we going to travel without the necessities, of course? So, okay, a lot of books just fell, so let me fix that, I'll be back. So I cleaned out my books and I'm back. But I just thought, you know, in order to travel, you need to have the best foot forward. You need to be prepared, planned, and ready to have fun. And, you know, us curvy divas, we have to go through things a little bit differently. So I thought I would take out some time to share you my top five tips when traveling while being thick, curvy, fat, whatever you want to call it. Full figured, big boned. We do it all, baby. And we do it while we slay. But I thought I would give you some tips on how to, you know, do it the best. Uh, make sure it's an effortless flight. And in all in all, just have fun and to breathe and to have, you know, be great while you do it. So, without any further ado, here are five curvy tips for flying while fat, plus size, big bounded, thick, however you may see it. So, number one, I always recommend carrying a small purse. I don't really do fanny packs, but like a little wallet clutch thing that goes inside of the carry-on so that you're able to, you know, get easier access to both your passports and your cards and things like that so i like to carry this this is my you know aka passport because i'm extra but then i also like to carry this little purse next to it just with all my things in it so it's just these two together tucked inside of my carry-on you know when you're rushing you're trying to change clothes and when i change clothes go through security it's a lot so just having these two on you and you know you just give it do what you gotta do, take your shoes off, put your shoes back on, and be running, but you know that these are here with you. If you wanna go the extra mile and you lose stuff, I'd recommend finding something you could put both of these in together, like just putting them together. But um, if you can't do that, girl, I'll get you a nice wallet, you know, Target, you know, has some Walmart, you know. If you're going bougie, TJ Maxx, you know. But really, it's just to make sure that everything is compact together because you will be going through a lot. With security, trying to find your boarding, like your boarding pass, um, trying to find out where your, you know, flight is, like the actual, like, deck. It's just a lot. And I want to make sure my divas are ready for that flight. And so if you're ready, you have to have everything equipped and ready at just the pick of a finger. So, that is my tip number one. Now, tip number two, baby, is especially for my stallion queen, my Amazonian goddesses, my tall babes. <clears throat> in seats are your best friend okay um i got old knees my meg knees are starting to go out you know i need some vibranium for maquanda if you will to you know get them oiled back up but being in that tight space is one thing but being tight spaced and cramped up baby where's the leg room because i don't see it so i think in seats are the best thing specifically specifically for me because I'm able to feel like I'm letting out a little bit more relief. And if there is another person next to me, I'm able to put more of my weight and more of my body over on the other side, which, where, which is where the aisle is. So that is what I recommend. Yes, it is a financial thing. So it might be a little bit more pricey because they always want to, you know, tax everything. But I think it is a necessity if you feel though, you feel as though I feel like it is sometimes. And sometimes when the, you find a cheap flight, an extra $20, $30 isn't going to be that much. So I recommend it. Even if you're a short, chubby queen, baby, that extra leg room and that extra space is just as good. Now, my third thing is more of a me thing, but I feel like it is a great habit to get into. And that is wet wipes. Whether that is disinfectant wipes you put in a bag or little baby wet wipes that you get from the store they are a necessity there are many diseases viruses and sicknesses going around and i watched this video on youtube that they really don't clean 
the airplanes and like the seats as much as they should they wipe them down but that's a basic wipe down i think the best way to go about any situation is to just wipe it down yeah you look bougie but i think naomi campbell did this and it was iconic so you know we are naomi campbell's mini me so we have to make sure we follow and we act accordingly and that is with the wet wipes so just a baby you know a swift wet wipe down i mean nobody's gonna look at you crazy but i feel like it will overall help you feel comfortable in the flight and definitely decrease your chances of getting a disease or a virus or a sickness a hundred times less because like who wants to be sick on a nice vacation a vacation if you will know what I mean? so we gotta be prepared now this fourth one i think is very very important it's very crucial for my relaxation and my easy ease on the plane and that would be a seat belt extender so um i am very anxious when it comes to flights because i'm a big girl like i know i'm not gonna fit them seat belts like who is honestly and i'm not about to sit there for a three or four hour flight with that tight belt under my stomach like that's just uncomfortable so i vowed to get a seat belt extender and you can definitely buy these on amazon but you can also you know ask the flight ask the flight attendant they'll definitely give it to you it's free of charge you can borrow it the whole flight but me i'm a i'm a i'm a confident diva no lie but i get a little nervous when it comes to asking because i'll ask and then they'll forget and then i gotta ask again i'm not into that so i'm not gonna even hold you y'all i didn't really buy this um i definitely copped it from the airplane don't call the police on me because i gonna tell you which flight so there it is but these are great you know they are for every flight they're versatile so you can use them anywhere at any flight and it's just a nice extra ease you can slip these on and you can't even tell it is from a different like it's an extender at all it looks just like the uh, actual buckle so it's perfect it gives you a lot of extra room and just lets you relax and not have to have that anxiety of actually putting the seatbelt on to see if it fits whether it fits or not baby just add this on and it's just like oh there it is and last but certainly not least my tip for you is to just breathe now i know there's a lot of anxiety filled with flying while curvy fat however you see it and you start to you know psych yourself out and you're like talking yourself off the bridge trust me honey i do it every single time and i wish i could tell you that i was a pro but i'm not so one thing i like to do is to just breathe Remember that you belong there and you belong to take up space just as much as everybody else. And if that doesn't work, I say get your little diva song on. So every time I'm about to board a flight and they call my uh, section number to get on, I take my boarding pass and I slip my earphones in and I play this song. And this song gets me from walking past the flight attendants on the plane, through the seats and into my seat. And literally it has been... It has been Deja Vu by Beyonce featuring Jay-Z. That's my go-to song. It's a, a bad boop song. It's period song. It's like, I am the stuff. I deserve to be here. And you're going to accept me how I am. Just remember that a lot of the things that you feel that other people are feeling about you is just in your head. They probably not even worried about you. And you're going to have fun no matter where you're going, where you're traveling to. As long as you make it to that seat, everything else will be great. So, I want you to have a great time. Don't forget to breathe. Reminder that you deserve to take up just as much space as anybody else. And to obviously slay. I hope, hope, hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was inspiring and you take some of these tips along with you on your next trip. Your vacation. I want you to relax. Enjoy the flight. And take as many memories as you possibly can. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to hear about all your trips. And don't forget to stay fabulous. Love you.